From 350 applicants, we've narrowed it down to the top 12 finalists competing for the Junior Late Model Challenge Camp, and they are Cade Brown from Texas, Holly Clark from Colorado, Haley Constance from Washington, Eleanor Dickerson from England, Dale Eliasson Jr. from Arizona, Dominic Gordon from California, Kersey Young from California, Elvis Rankin from New Mexico, Bryson Ruff from North Carolina, Colby Sokol from Colorado, Grant Thompson from Alabama, and Luke Wilhelm from Michigan. Our alternates are Jackson White, Joey Stearns, and Nick Loden. I'm Cade Brown, I'm 13 years old, and I'm from Fulcher, Texas. I'm Holly Clark, I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I'm 13 years old. Hi, I'm Haley Constance, I'm from Snohomish, Washington, and I'm 14 years old. I'm Eleanor Dickerson, I'm from Peterborough, England, and I'm 13. My name is Dale Eliasson Jr. I am from Phoenix, Arizona. My name is Dominic Gordon. Uh, my hometown is Clovis, California, and I'm 13 years old. My name is Kiersey Young. I'm 13, and I live in Bakersfield, California. I'm Elvis Rankin from New Mexico, and I'm 12 years old. My name is Bryson Ruff. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Indian Trail, North Carolina. My name is Colby Sokol, or Little Smoke. I'm 12 years old, and I'm from Falcon, Colorado. My name is Grant Thompson. I'm 13 years old, and I'm from Mobile, Alabama. Luke Wilhelm, Kyle, Michigan. Hello, everyone. Kenny Shepard here, and it is time to announce the winner of the 2019 Junior Late Models Challenge Camp from right here at the Madeira Speedway. And that winner will end up in an all-expenses-paid ride in a Nate Clower championship-winning car, actually a, a team member of Joey East, for the short track shootout this year. But before we get to the countdown, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the camp and how it came to life. Uh, the camp is really an idea, it's an expansion of the Junior Late Model Series, and with the help of many individuals to make it a reality, it's a scouting process where we want to produce a driver from a big pool of drivers, 350 drivers in this case, we narrowed it down to 50, and then to 12 plus three alternates. So the idea is to produce the sport's next superstar. So we want the driver with the maximum amount of potential from this process. So with the help of our friends at the West Coast Stock Car Hall of Fame and J&M Environmental, plus Nate Clower Motorsports, the entire staff here at the Madera Speedway, Rod Wortham, and my staff from the Mav TV, uh, Madera Racing on Mav TV program, we were able to make this a reality. Uh, so it's something that we're very proud of, and the top 12 drivers uh, plus the three alternates should be very proud of their accomplishments. Uh, that was narrowed down from 350 applicants, um, an incredible amount of talent. Now here's how the judging took place. We had six different categories that we judged the kids in. So only one of those six categories, one six of their score, was based on the driving. So they had uh, different classrooms they had to go through. My classroom in particular was sponsorship and marketing, how to bring, uh, kind of tie the business side of the sport together. So it was very important, important for the parents to engage as well as the young drivers. So they were scored in that category. They were scored with Stephen Blakesley on the interview process. They were trained on how to do television interviews. So they were scored with Stephen there. Rod Wortham worked with them on branding. Tony Caputo with a chassis setup seminar class. And then they went through uh, spotter training, radio training, there was a, a tire training uh, course, and then certainly on the track with Mike Nank. So there was six different judges. Each of the judges picked their top five and then awarded each of those top five points. And we just found out who the winner is. So we're just about as excited as you are because these were sealed in envelopes. And here in just a few minutes, we're actually, Quan and the guys here at the studio, I'm here at our short track TV studios where we produce the Madeira Racing on Mav TV. Uh, television show and Quan and Matt uh, have Mike on the cell phone so we're kind of bear with us if things go a little bit uh, sideways here but we're hooking this up with uh, cell phones and trying to do it a little bit live uh, for the announcement for you so we'll be right back with you uh, right now Matt and Quan are going to show you a little bit of b-roll and fans that didn't get to see much from the camp are going to show you some b-roll which means a little bit of footage from all over the camp to give you a little idea what it looked like there so we'll be right back with you.
Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Quan. We appreciate you showing us that B-roll. We're doing this in a live format right now. Uh, Quan's working really hard to establish that connection uh, via the cell phone connection. To, uh, we're down here just north of the Madera Speedway at our studios, and Mike's clear up in the Sacramento area. So we're going to see if we can pull this off. But uh, while Quan's working hard on that connection, uh, we're going to go ahead and get this started. But before we get the top five, we're going to announce the top five first. Before I do that, again, I want to congratulate all of the kids, especially the kids that made the top 50, 350, cut to 50, and then really the kids that made the top 12, an incredible accomplishment. These kids are the best of the best with the maximum potential, and it was so hard on our behalf to pick uh, who the winner was with six judges in the scoring system. We tried to make it as fair as possible, and we wanted the young driver with the maximum amount of potential. We ended up in the top five with two female drivers of the top five. Pretty impressive. One third of the total applicants were young ladies. So we've come a long ways in that category in the sport as well. So for the top five, in no particular order, here we go. In no particular order, again, top five. Cade Brown, you made the top five. Congratulations. Kersey Young, you've made the top five. Haley Constance, Grant Thompson, and the final driver that made the top five is Elvis Rankin. Now here is where it really gets tough. The top five were so close in the scoring and the winner, when we get down to the top two, just let me tell you, there was one point difference from all of the judges when it was all combined and added up. The winner won the camp by just one point. Absolutely incredible how close this was. And it, that speaks to how good these kids are. Any one of the top five, they're winners. Any one of the top five that made it to this point, I think we could work with any, any one of them, and it really made it tough. But at the end of this, uh, there was a couple of them that stood out just a little bit more, and the others need to work on a few of the areas. Might be interviews, might be uh, a little bit with a chassis setup seminar, might be a little more with their communication skills. Not just the driving, we're looking for the whole package. So here we go. I'm going to take you down to the top three while Quan and the guys are working hard to get this connection established. We've had it, lost it a little bit. Uh, Mike and the guys uh, are a little bit tired right now too as we all are tired. But uh, Quan thinks he can get this established so we can get a video feed from Mike Nank up at his race shop, Nank Clower Motorsports. Before I take you and we announce the fifth place competitor, I again want to thank everyone involved, the West Coast Stock Car Hall of Fame, J&M Environmental, Nate Clower Motorsports, Tom Clower himself. Uh, Tom was a big driving factor to make this happen. Uh, he and I got on the phone with Mike Nank and uh, we didn't have sponsors and Tom and I just said, heck, we'll, we'll write the checks, we'll make this happen. And our criteria was this is a free camp. The kids don't bring any money. We are scouting and putting a farm system back in place where we want the most talented kids. So Nate Clower Motorsports, Rod Wortham, again, my staff here at uh, Madeira Racing on Mav TV. This will be a television show in our series, an, ap an episode of Madeira Racing on Mav TV. Um, plus, we will do a day in the life special on the young driver that wins this camp. So they'll have their own episode like a, a documentary as well. So. Uh, thank you to everyone that made this happen. It was a tremendous amount of work. It was, it was comparable to a weekend of racing, and uh, it turned out as one of the most incredible things I personally have ever been involved in, and just so proud to have done this, so proud to be a part of this team. So without uh, any further delay, let's get right to this. Our top five, again, here's the top five in no particular order, and then we'll take you down through the countdown. We have Cade Brown, Kersey Young, Haley Constance, Grant Thompson and Elvis Rankin, are, that's the top five. Okay, here we go. Our fifth place competitor in the 2019 Junior Late Model Series Challenge Camp is Kersey Young. Kersey, you should be very proud of yourself. Fifth place out of 350 kids, and uh, Kersey's an incredible talent. It was actually tough for her to get into this camp. She currently races in our junior late model program here at the Madera Speedway, the 5150 series on Mav TV, and it was really tough for any of our kids to get into this camp because we, as judges, uh, and again, five judges on the selection panel felt like our kids already have the opportunity. So Kersey has a tremendous amount of potential, very low dollar team. Uh, in fact, one of our, our lowest dollar teams that races at the Madera Speedway. So congratulations, Kersey, on making the camp and your accomplishment with fifth place. 
Right now, Quan and the guys are going to show you a little bit more of the behind the scenes from the camp. Matt spooling up some footage uh, as we speak, and I'll be right back with you to take you down to our fourth place competitor. Our fourth place competitor, I'll give you a hint. Kersey was our fifth place competitor. Our fourth place competitor is a young man. He's a dynamic youngster, a heck of a driver. And again, when we got to the top five, it was just about a tie all the way down from five, four, three, two, one. But our fourth, fourth place competitor, uh, he's raced at the Madera Speedway before. It's a young man named Elvis Rankin, big personality. In fact, Elvis came out with us last week and he was an announcer. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on the phone as soon as this is announced and see if we can't sign Elvis to work with us at the Short Track Shootout as a pit reporter. Uh, just an incredibly talented young man, an incredible young driver, huge personality. Elvis, congratulations on finishing fourth again out of 350 kids. You have a huge future in front of you. A plus, buddy, great job. Right now, Quan and the guys, again, we're gonna show you a little bit more B-roll, a little bit more behind the scenes, and we'll be right back to announce our third place finishing competitor. Our third place competitor is also a young man. He's an incredibly talented young man, and he was actually one of my personal top picks. His parents really understood and engaged in the business side of the sport that I teach. Uh, he was one of the most competitive drivers on the track, huge talent, great personality, and with just a little bit more work on the interview area and some of the interaction, uh, possibly the uh, chassis setup seminar, a little bit more effort there. He may have been number one. Our third place competitor is from Texas, and he's Cade Brown. Cade, congratulations on the top three. This was a huge accomplishment. Cade, keep driving those cars as fast as you drive and keep that smile and that great personality. You're going to be a superstar in this sport down the road. It is time to announce the final two, and if you've been doing the math, you already know who they are. It's a young lady from Washington named Haley Constance. And it's a young man from Mobile, Alabama, named Grant Thompson. We're gonna show you a little bit more B-roll, and it looks like we've got this connection right now with Mike Nank. As soon as we get done with this B-roll, we're gonna send you up to Mike Nank at their shop up in the Sacramento area, and Mike will have the announcement as to who the winner is. This is Mike Dake from Nick Carmore Sports. Looks like I got elected to let you guys know who wins the camp. There's a lot of good racers. It was a fun weekend. A little warm, as everybody knows, but there was some really talented young racers in this group. Um, it was very, very tough for us to make this decision. There were six people making the decision and I think we're all very, very happy with the results. Okay, we're back to announce the winner of the first annual Junior Late Model Challenge Camp. But, a little bit past my bedtime because I'm an old guy, so we'll just do this tomorrow. Well, that was as surprising to us. We all wanted to announce this tonight. Mike might be a little bit tired. We're all tired. So uh, here, Quan, do me a favor. 
text Mike, take my phone, get him back on the phone. We want to know this thing tonight. I'm sure all of you out there want to know who wins it tonight between Haley and Grant. So uh, while we're waiting uh, on Quan to get this connection hooked back up with Mike, um, what I'd like to do right now is, again, just say thank you to the West Coast Stock Car Hall of Fame. We've got a little commercial that aired on MAV TV when we did their special for the 2019 West Coast Stock Car Hall of Fame. And I think it's really unique that the gentlemen that run that hall and that board are investing revenue, big money, into the Junior Late Model Series Challenge Camp to help us produce the sports future stars. So how unique is that? And I'm very proud of that relationship where you have kind of a bookend on one end, we have the legends of West Coast Stock Car Racing and that Hall of Fame helping us raise money so we can produce a free, all free, F-R-E-E, -E, free camp for the kids to come out so we can produce the sport's next stars. So let's check out this 30-second uh, commercial to tell you a little bit more about the West Coast Stock Car Hall of Fame. And by then, we hope to have Mike back on the live line. Uh, Quan and the guys are working very hard at it right now. The West Coast Stock Car Hall of Fame was conceived in 2001 with a mission to preserve the history and heritage and the important role West Coast stock car competitors have played in the sport's development and continuation. The West Coast Stock Car Hall of Fame recognizes outstanding individuals and groups within the sport such as designers, engineers, mechanics, racetrack owners, promoters, publicists, and members of the motorsports media. The Hall seeks to help those that are less fortunate by donating financially to more than 30 charities annually. The Hall is entirely dependent on the generous donations of its friends and the industry for continued growth. If you would like to become a sponsor to help preserve the history and heritage of stock car racing on the West Coast, please visit westcoaststockcarhalloffame.com. Okay, we're ready for the winner. One by one point, their name is right here, and I'm gonna pull this cover off, and you guys can read it. I don't have to announce it. Grant Thompson, I'll see you in California. Thank you, Mike Nake. We know you guys are tired up there and you've worked really hard. Thank you to the entire staff at Nate Clower Motorsports for helping us make this happen. I'd like to congratulate Grant Thompson. Phenomenal performance. You're a standout in all categories. Haley Constance, you were also a standout in all categories. You lost it by just one point, basically a tie. You should be very proud of yourself. Second place out of 350 competitors, and we know you're going to do great things in this sport, and we look forward to seeing what you do down the road. Please follow us on our Madeira Racing on MAV TV program. That's where the Junior Late Model Challenge Camp will air as a full episode, as well as the short track shootout that Grant Thompson will compete in, and we will do a, a separate episode on Grant Thompson, the day in the life of Grant Thompson during the short track shootout. Thank you everybody for participating in the Junior Late Model Camp. We look forward to number two, the second annual Junior Late Model Camp, and look for big announcements to come on how we're expanding and what we're doing for the 2020 version of this camp. Thank you guys very much. Enjoy your weekend and have a great night.